All right, day three of this project, this air plant holder, um, and uh, trying to make it easy, trying to make it simple, step by step, so that you guys could follow along. And also, you know, if you're just hanging out and enjoying the time with me here, then that is perfectly great. Um, we're taking our time on this, you know, it's, it's been, I'm not trying to rush through it at all. I mean, as, uh, as you can tell, there's not much, um, this could have been done like in a couple of hours and, uh, you know, things happen or whatever, like we had family over, they're still here right now. Um, but yeah, it's, it's good to get back and start doing things again. And I'm happy to hang out with you guys. So this is like a wonderful time for me too. Um, hopefully it's good for you guys, right? So, all right. So what do we have? We're going to be soldering. I got my soldering iron. This is what I'll be using, the FX601. It's already plugged in. It's blinking. Maybe let's go with uh, 410, 410 Celsius on that setting right there. Um, here. You can see it a little bit better. This iron is probably the best, like, best investment you could do for yourselves if you're getting into this. Um, the cheaper irons will work and uh, you know they'll they'll be fine you could do this stuff you could do this project but once you jump up to a better one it's obviously that it's obvious that you just it's hard to go back to the regular um, like, you know the cheaper irons just because it's like uh, you know once you get once you use something that is a lot better quality and it works better for you, you just get adapted and get used to it. Um, so, you know, you can go off of the like basic irons and that's totally fine. You'll get used to that. You'll be able to make your projects. But once you jump up, you'll know that these are much more, um, just, just overall is gonna help you solder better. Um, they do cost a lot. I mean, a little bit more than the other ones. So that's why, you know, you don't have to jump into it right away. And that's kind of my advice too. just like, start with the basic one, get used to it, get, you know, understand the soldering steps and how how it works if you haven't soldered anything before. But once you do, you've done a couple of projects, you're feeling pretty good, you're like, hey, I want to get into this more, I want to you know, do a whole bunch more projects and bigger projects and stuff where you're going to be sitting on the iron for a long time, then it would be nice to have a better one, you know. So um, that's kind of how I feel like the route that you should take in moving up and, and getting the tools, upgrading the tools, things like that. Of course, if you, you've got the money for it and, you know, you want to just shortcut everything and come up to, to where we're at right now. You can just get the good stuff and that's going to, it's going to help you right away. You're just going to understand, like you'll, you'll be able to make things a lot quicker. Your skills won't be there, but at least you'll eliminate, you know, the, like the iron itself in, you know, possibly trying to figure that out as well. And you're still, you're still figuring it out. I'm still figuring everything out, you know, but. I don't know. What I'm trying to say is just start small and, you know, no rush to get the better stuff. Um, unless you got the, the bills for it, go for it. It's cool. You know, um, once you have this, you're going to be using this forever. That, that's what I'm on right now. And that's it. Um, I don't, there's nothing else that's, I need to go find the next step up or whatever that this is it. So that's one thing there. Um, I always say too, like the glass cutter is the other one. So the glass cutter would be a basic glass cutter. Same thing. You use that. It's fine. It'll cut fine. And then you get a better one. It's like, oh, it feels a lot better. And, you know, if it feels good in your hand and uh, cuts better, then you should go with the other one, you know. So, but you won't know until you try it. But also you wouldn't know what the heck a glass cutter does if you've never even held one. So. Again, no need to really jump right away into that stuff. Um, anyways, I don't need to tell you all that stuff right now. We're, we're trying to solder this stuff up. Okay, so let's get into it. I have 
uh, flux we're gonna put uh, we're gonna use today. So I always kind of empty, cleaned out the jar already, and just empty a little bit. A little, a little splash into there. We won't be using a lot at all. And um, got a nice brush going there. My iron is plugged in, so first things we're trying to do right now is have a, uh, you know, I have to hold this thing up. It's a 3D shape. And so how are we gonna do that? I think the best way uh, we're gonna make this work is I'll tape everything up. Hopefully, I just got some regular tape and I'll just try to hold these pieces together with tape. And then we tack solder these shapes together so they kind of hold itself themselves and then we can go ahead and add the solder in. So I don't have any jigs for this. This is a first time project for me. Um, trying to figure this out as well. Trying to see where everything lines up and so there's no jigs for this at all. So if you do a project and you know, you've been working on the same project and this is like you're trying to make mass quantities of it because you're trying to sell it or something, probably be wise to, you know, get yourself, make yourself some type of a jig that would hold up these pieces as you're soldering things together. And um, I've just never gone that route because every project of mine is like a brand new one all the time. So I'm always trying to figure it out along the way. Um, so hopefully uh, you'll see, you know, how I do it right now and hopefully it will work out. I can't say it's gonna, we don't know. Um, but I think it's simple enough that we can make this happen and it should work. In my head, it should work. So let's, let's just go for it. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll hope for the best here. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Yeah, so it's been, it's been a good couple of days so far. Um, we had the in-laws in, in uh, they've been staying with us and yesterday was really cool. Got to go into the city of San Francisco. Um, so I no longer live there. You know, we moved out here to the East Bay, um, east side of it for about three years now, I think. And um, we, went, we went back to where we lived. We went to visit that apartment um, just from the outside and like the surrounding areas and the park, this little park that's there. It's got like a nice uh, fountain right in the middle. It's called Huntington Park up in Knob Hill, Calif uh, San Francisco. And um, oh, it's, it's so cool to, to go back to where, you know, you've spent a lot of time there. Um, for me, it was 13 years in the city at that same exact spot. So we didn't move, you know, we moved into that place, that studio when we found it on like Craigslist or something. And since we found it, we just, we just stay there. So we've been there the entire time. Um, let me see here, we're trying to tape this thing down. I'm hoping this is like the right way to do it, you know? Um, right, like I imagine it, it's gonna, This is gonna to be tough trying to line things up. Also wants to fall and drop right down. So maybe I have to like tack this guy on there right away, maybe. And then we can add the rest of them. So then kind of build off each other. So yeah, maybe it wouldn't hurt to, to do that right now. All right, let me, let me try something here. Yeah, getting, getting this stuff to line up is, I, I think is gonna be the hardest part. Oh, I, I got everything else but solder. Okay. 
All right, we're going with 6040. Solid core. Ammer way is what I have. It's been pretty good. This has been sitting out and oxidized. So easiest thing to do, get a steel wool pad and you can, um, you can just kind of rub on it, shine it up, get rid of that oxidation. And then we're, it's like brand new, nice and shiny again. I'm not sure if you don't do it, I think your solder, soldering iron will have a hard time maybe, uh, not a hard time, but less um, easier of a time to melt the solder and then the flow might not be as good but yeah you can easily just shine it up again so that looks looks very nice brand new again okay let's try this again so i got that solder just kind of sitting right there I think this taping, I mean, if I tacked it right now, I wouldn't be able to know the angle. Like we're just kind of estimating everything right now. So, you know, I'm basically winging it. Um, it's not exact. I don't have a perfect method right now for this. But you see, this is kind of what I'm doing. All right, so let me put some more flux on there again. I'm just going to go off that corner first, that tip. Clean that off. Let's just do one, see what happens. That feels pretty nice. Right, okay, so there's there's one one spot right there and it's holding up almost everything right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the I think I'm gonna do this side here. A lot of times when you're, you're trying to line everything up, you should pin them down. Use like some nails to hold the stuff together. Um, so I think this piece for me, I feel like I don't need to, just because again, I am, I'm really just trying to get this point by point, tack it in and then it'll all come together. So I feel pretty good that I can do that. Okay, so, oops, step. All right, so let's tack this together right here. One point up there. This all right guys, I'm just trying to concentrate on this. Which means I can't talk. Okay. Alright, we're going on this. This end right here. Ooh, okay, okay. See, we don't want to. Try not to misalign the rest of them too.
think we can do it. I think we got it. We just spot right there in the corner. So I just drop a dab of solder right onto wherever I, I put the flux and it, it, it's holding right now. So maybe it is okay. Let's do another one over here, right on the bottom. All right, so each point has been soldered on. I'm going to leave that one, try to work on these other pieces here. Um, same thing, I think. I'm going to try to cut the, get the tape, use that. I can't, I didn't, I didn't put the solder onto each of these to hold them up. Uh, because I didn't want the solder lines to raise up these pieces when I place it on top. Right now, I just want the pieces to be directly glass to glass um, with the copper foil and no solder to to have like to to you know change the height of everything right on that surface. Um, <clears throat> so I that's why I didn't tack or solder these things together just yet. So um, that's that's kind of how I'm looking at it. You know, who knows, it could be, it could be different project to project. Um, but right now it just seems like that was the way to go. If you guys try this out, you, you might come up with some something else different, but you know, this is what I've got that I, I think it could work, so. Yeah, it's like, uh, I don't know, just figuring things out along the way as, as we go. Even um, some of these, like, this glass piece is a little thicker. Like, this is uh, t different than the rest of them. This one's probably the thickest one. Um, so we might, we might have some issues, but let's see. But I like the I like the color choice. I'm pretty happy with how they they're balancing out. You know, each each of these pieces they kind of look like I was trying to trying to get like the right um, combinations or whatever feel. Um, switching back and forth from clear to color, you know, so it's looking pretty cool. So far, so good, I think. All right, let's see. It's not even sticking onto this glass, come on. This piece is kind of off too for me. Like, the height of it. I don't think you can see that. But 
The only thing I'm worried about right now is just making sure that the lines line up straight. So when the triangles come together next to each other, I want it to be level. I want the lines to be level so none of the pieces stand out or, um, or is off uh, balance, off. Uh, they're, that they're not level. I guess this takes a little bit of concentration here. Okay, are we going for it? Dang. I was just telling you guys a story and now I can't even come up with Oh yeah, I, yeah, we'll get back into that. Just Oh man, I hope that works here. Okay, that looks okay right there. Okay, let's make this happen. How about we tack this right here? That's going to go, let's do this one. Yeah, that looks like it's gonna hold. It's pretty level, sorta. Let's get this one on the bottom. I think we might be good for that problem. Let's see if we got a problem with this or not. <clears throat> that piece is almost in the way. Yeah, they're barely, they're, they're like, I, I think it's okay. If anything, this piece is the issue. This is my problem right here. The tip comes down a little bit too much. So it was a little too big. And we have... Man, I kind of wish I would have filed that down a little bit more. It's, it's okay. It looks like it'll, f it'll work. Once we cover it up with solder, I think, I think you wouldn't be able to, you wouldn't be able to tell what, what piece was longer than the other. So let's just go for it. We'll have to fill in some of the gaps right here, which I think um, should be okay. Yeah, see, I, I, I take a lot of time in looking at, um, trying to predict what, it's, what the outcome's gonna be. And if the solder, once you cover it, everything up, you know, is it gonna be okay? If it's already off, 
like alignment wise. Um, sometimes you're, it's not, you can't fix it. You, you can't really cover it up with solder anymore. Like you'll see it and it'll show. And so you have to pay attention to that. But I'm looking at this and I, I think, uh, I think we're okay with this piece, all of it here. Um, you know, in the top two right there, we'll, we'll get to that, but I kind of knew we were going to, well, it wasn't going to line up so perfectly and also having, we might have some troubles. trying to prop everything up here. Like the tape is very helpful. Um, so the tape is what you should be, I think is probably the best way to do this. Tape it down, try to hold everything up. And then do your tack solder to hold the pieces. So here we go, we got And you're just going to have to use all your fingers and everything, the tape, the fingers, whatever else is, is going to hold these things up. Um, get that solder on here. Man. Okay, here we go. Is that it? That's the spot. Okay, that's one. And then I got wavy glass here, so that also doesn't help. Maybe this tape is restricting it, hold on. All right, we're almost, we're almost there. Connecting the sides. Okay, just tacking it, tacking it together. Okay, feels good. So far, those three pockets there. I think we'll get this one here. This should be like... Could have done, could have done this the whole time. These sides right here, right on the edge of the glass. Just get some, I didn't even think about that, but get the solder right on there. Holds it all up, holds it all together so they don't move. I wasn't thinking about doing it from the top, right? But the sides you can do, so why not? Okay. All right, so now that they're together, right, you got, it's not moving, then that could help. You know, one less thing to worry about. Okay, and tape. Oh, I'm sorry, that was a, uh, I don't know, it wasn't, wasn't a fun section right there. But these 3D shapes are, they, they kind of give you this challenge. You know, this is what you have to go through. Um, and I don't know what other people do, but 
I feel like this is what they all run into, this issue. And you have to line up the glass correctly on its edge. So Oh, it looks looks good right there. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get this centered. Solder in there. Okay. There we go. So nice. See now, now it looks looks like we can go. Let's do this. Oh. It's all about keeping still all these pieces. Once you tack it, it's good to go. And you don't want to move any of that right before and just just get it. And get them in, get them tacked. Okay, like oh Look, this is so far. Um, it's it's on it's on. They're individually tacked on together, piece by piece so far, right? Yeah, that looks good, huh? Yeah, this is good. All right, guys, so that's like, that was probably the hardest part for me because now adding everything, all the solder up on to, to this now, it should be much easier to just, everything's not like, they're not going to move. Or maybe we should, uh, should secure this in a way so they don't move, but where can we go? How about, how about like right there? Um, yeah, I'm not going to nail it in. We got to move it around again, too. So let's let's get this center. I feel like we can add more solder onto there first. That's the first big thing here. Drop them in. Melt that down. OK. So that's like center point, trying to hold everything up. See if we can pull off some of the tape. I specifically cut the, got the glass pieces to be like, had some of the clear ones um, just to have some texture cleared ones and have, uh, you know, you'll be able to see the plant. I was thinking of going solid at times so you wouldn't see through it, but didn't really have that many glass pieces to feel like, you know, I could uh, just make it super colorful or something, but you could definitely go that route too. Uh, so. That's why this project should be good for everybody because you can make it your own. Okay. Let's just do a little bit. Don't have to fill it in right now, I think. We'll come back to all of that. 
everything else. Here, I'm going to turn this on. Hopefully that's not too loud for you guys. <clears throat> Don't want to smell the fumes. Okay, now we can breathe a little bit. Um, all right, so, man, that, that felt like I was a little stressed out. To be honest, I didn't, I thought it was going to be a little bit easier, you know, didn't really have to concentrate so much on it and it would just hold itself up. But once you get through that, I think that to me right there was was the harder part. Making sure everything looks good and everything is going to line up. Very, very precise. Um, I guess in this project, you know, having it straight and neat per angle and everything to me is important. Um, so... You know, if you cut your shape straight and it lines up with the pattern, then, uh, you know, there shouldn't be any problems. But of course, we know that once you cut, things change and sometimes you go over the line a little bit, you go under the line a little bit. Um, so you might want to make sure that you have a second print of the pattern and test that out. And if it doesn't line up, file it down, grind it down, do whatever to make it all to look very similar or be very similar on your template. Um, that's one of the best things that you can do to make sure your project's gonna come out right. Um, especially when you have like multiple hundreds, well not multiple hundreds, like, you know, up close to the hundreds or 50 count pieces or something uh, like the Seed of Life that we did where um, everything becomes, you know, it, it, it'll, they work off each other, so they are very important. Um, so, anyways, that is, uh, you just got to pay attention to everything. That's, that's, that's stained glass for you. Um, okay. All right, so... All right, what I was what I was saying was I got to go into the city of San Francisco I revisit where I lived um, And it was so beautiful. It was like a beautiful day. Uh, it wasn't too cold the sun was out and uh, You know, we just walked around and got to kind of see If anything has changed It's all about the same. Everything looks pretty much the same. It's only been a couple of years but it's just very cool to be there in that space again. Um, the thing that changed though was uh, there is this cathedral that's called Grace Cathedral and it was just right in front of our our house or the apartment and out the window I would see the church. Um, so we would hear the church bells you know, every hour in the mornings and the evenings. And that was just a part of life. It was very cool um, to have that experience. So we went to visit again and they, uh, they started charging admission to get inside the church. So at first it was just always open, always um, just, you know, like doors open. Anybody was welcome to go in. And this time they said, yeah, we had, we got to start charging because of, uh, we were closed down for COVID for a couple of years, two or three years or something. And then um, they didn't, they needed to kind of raise some money. And, you know, when um, I told them, oh yeah, it's, we used to live across the street and this, this is where we were and stuff. And he was like, oh man, this is so cool. Like, you're coming back to visit and he said you guys could go in you know don't worry about it just um you know go check it out if you need to kind of reflect or whatever and um, 
yeah, it was amazing. It was really cool. Such a nice person um, to let us through. And um, but anyways, we got to see that. We got to go inside and walk around inside, outside. Um, and if you guys have ever been there, it's it's one of the coolest spots in San Francisco. I think um, totally different than like the touristy parts of San Francisco. Um, so you know, it's it's a totally different vibe from like Fisherman's Wharf or something like that. Um, but that's where we lived. It was so amazing. Just really cool to be there again. The park was nice. Um, you know, my kids got to play at the playground and yeah, just enjoyed it. Went downtown. Um, downtown was not so nice. Downtown was downtown was uh, like almost a ghost town. Shops are closed. Lots and lots of shops were closed. Everything was gone. Like big name um, stores. Gap, H&M. Uh, like Skechers had a big store and they moved across to a smaller place. Still there. I don't know, like whatever big shops were there, they're, they're big and small. They've all just kind of disappeared. It's, it's a crazy thing. Um, but I think you guys already probably all heard about that anyways already. Yeah, I don't know. Nice to revisit some place that you spent many years and um, very fond of it. Still feel like I do miss it. I miss the city. I miss just the randomness of things out there. Um, you know, it's, it's, there's different spots where it's very beautiful. And, you know, of course there's places that are just trash and it's like terrible. Um, but where we lived and where we were, it was such a nice spot. So, I would go back there again just hasn't we haven't been in a long time but other than that we uh, we just did city stuff and then came back oh we went to this uh, Salesforce tower where you can go up to like it's, it's just like a couple floors up two or two stories or something up, but they have a garden uh, path that they built and so you can go up there for free just kind of walk around and um, you're with you're surrounded um, by these high rises skyscrapers more like um, <clears throat> So that was a different different thing, but uh, it's free. You can go up there. There's a gondola that takes you up to to that spot. So we did that, and that was pretty much that was pretty much it. Um, you know, there's of course a lot of things to see too. But tomorrow we've got a ball game to go to. So we'll be back um, this time going to the AT&T Park. So. That would be pretty cool. Um, I don't know what else. Yeah, that's it. That's it for San Francisco. It's a very, very fun spot. And good times there. But today I get to be back here. I get to work. Got some time. Um, so I'm trying to finish this project. And get this to you guys. So you can see, you know, this might be done today. I don't know. Can't say. If it's taking too long, then it's got to be cut into two. But, you know, again, this whole thing that I'm doing here, just kind of making longer form videos. I feel it's better for me. It's better 
I don't know if it's better for you, but there are a lot of you who express that you like it. Um, this style where you're just kind of watching and... Whoa. Let's see. This thing needs to be buttoned down here. Yeah, like you're just watching wor watching while you're working, doing your own projects and, and whatever else in your own space. Um, so... I think it's kind of cool because we get to hang out in different ways. Um, it's a different, different style. Okay. We're going to have to solder on the inside, I think. I'm probably going to do that just so the copper foil doesn't show, show through. But... I don't know, what do you guys think so far? It looks, looks pretty good, huh? Yeah, this is gonna be pretty cool. Pretty much the project is just, you know, once, once you get the solder going, you're just gonna be Filling in the spaces, all the stuff that you see, everything that doesn't have the solder, you're just gonna make sure you cover it. A little bit of flux on there. Um, get your solder on. And you can move your pieces around now. You know, once you have, they hold together, you can just move about pick them up, turn them, however, whatever works for you and just get, work the solder in there. You know, like, and if you want more of a, like, uh, beaded solder look, you're gonna add more solder to it. You should always have solder on there, just uh, anyways for all around every every spot, but sometimes people would like to add more to make it even thicker, um, so there's that as well. I think this project could take a long time in that there's like copper foil on the inside as well so you know I'm gonna have to try to fill that in seriously I'm starting to think like I I don't know you know I'll have to do it just trying to think of ways to skip out on it but this is the very early stage right now we're like just filling in everything so far so not uh, nowhere near done at all you gotta go inside outside on top solder beads up falls off of your iron you can just pick it it'll sit right on the glass there you can just pick it up um, I mean with your iron and then uh, reuse it again you know, so that will happen I think on the inside where you can't really see I would just Fill it slightly, make sure it's, the solder is covered, but you don't need to, you don't need to add so much solder to them. So you can see I'm just letting it melt, rolling it over. Oh yeah, we got to ride the cable car too. Um, 
That was probably my highlight. Because I used to ride. So living there, that same place, up the hill, it's very difficult to walk. And that's why they have the cable car. But I would, uh, I went to City College and then I would come home from, from the getting off at BART station down there at Embarcadero. And then, you know, I'd, I'd take the cable car home. So that, would, that, that was like my daily ride, um, going down, going back, coming back up on the cable car and then taking BART to school. So yeah, it was cool to ride. And then my kids loved it. Um, they got to ride on that too for the first time. But it's always fun doing the cable car. Always just like a, it's, it feels like a fun ride. Um, those guys, however, aren't that friendly. I gotta say, they're just like, whatever, workers. They don't really care about. Maybe they have to deal with tourists a lot, so they just kind of, that's just, that's just one criticism. <laughs> um, I'm sure you'll, you'll, uh, you know, it depends on, on who you get, but there's not nice people out there <clears throat> all the time or every, any place, but you know, it is what it is. But yeah, we got to ride the cable car. That was fun. So I think like every time I get into the city, I'll probably f try to find a way to ride that. Um, if you guys have never visited, I'd say do the, cause the cable car that goes from the end of Powell, the beginning of Powell Street that goes up to Fisherman's Wharf, that's super busy. I mean, it'll take like, you, you'll probably wait like an hour or something to ride that could could be up to an hour or something ridiculous um, but if you went from California <clears throat> on the California street line there's two so there's two lines there but you could do um, well there's a there's one more line I think the hide but if you did the California that goes all the way up to the top of the hill which is what we did um, that takes you up to Knob Hill then that is the cool line I think it's the better line because there's no, no one's waiting there. Um, it's mostly for uh, locals, like residents, like myself who live uphill. Or if you wanted to go to Chinatown, that's the line. So that's the main, the main line. But <clears throat> you don't really have a wait time for that. So it's pretty easy. Um, yeah. Trying to give you some San Francisco travel tips now. We're a travel tips channel. Um, yeah, so it's it's good times. Bart, Bart is uh, you're just gonna have to do it. You gotta do Bart. If you just travel around, Bart is what it is. It's it's Bart. It's nasty. It's not that great. Never has been but it takes you places and so, you know, you gotta put up with it. Um, it's not a fun ride, it's a ride that you must ride because you gotta go somewhere. But yeah, there's, there's different ways, you know, and then there's buses and stuff, which I rode plenty too, but uh, we, didn't, we didn't get on there this time. We did the uh, the trains, the above ground trains, like the Market Street trains, that one runs on top above <clears throat> Market Street. And those trains are, those trains are okay. You know, they're, ni they're nice looking. They have some historical significance to it, but um, it's just like a bus ride. 
but you'll probably find yourselves on that too. I'm sure if you're traveling around the city. So, I don't know. There's so many places to visit. And it looks like more and more people are coming back. Like I felt like there's more tourists around. People, you know, were, were out wanting to do stuff. Except the shops were just closed. Like you just don't have shops anymore. Um, and so we'll see how things are going to change after this. It'll be very interesting to see. But a lot of us that have families will move out. Everybody you meet, most everybody that I've met, like I almost want to say 100% of the people that I've met here um, on the east side that has families have lived in San Francisco. My neighbors, um, you know, like everybody who has been, who's out here pretty much has lived in San Francisco at one point found themselves in the East Bay side. Um, that's, that's what it seems, majority of the people. Okay. And the East Bay is amazing. If you've never been, it's not touristy at all. Uh, we have views of San Francisco here. So you're looking at the city and you can get out to these places, these spots, and there's nobody. There's nobody there. Parking is plentiful um, and you're not fighting for anybody with anybody for pictures. You know, it's like, it's, uh, it's just a, like almost like a secret spot. It's crazy. I didn't know that because I, when I lived in the city, all I did was stay in the city, right? It's so weird. And, um, because there was a lot to explore in the city and I couldn't even finish like seeing everything there. So felt like, you know, we've been over here a few times, not nearly enough or a lot. And um, getting over here is a pain. You have to ride BART over here and then now you don't have a car, so uh, you can't get around. And then if you drove, a, drove your car over here, you have to now think about traffic and, and you know, putting up with uh, getting, getting on the freeways, on and off ramp, things like that. Just like, it's a mess, it's a city. There's a lot of people. So I think people tend to just stay where they are, honestly. Like you're on the East Bay side, you're never gonna be going to the city for fun. Um, I mean, yeah, you make a day out of it, like you have to put in the effort like that, but you don't go often. People in the city don't come over here often. Um, so, yeah, just that one bridge divides everybody. It's crazy. <clears throat> but it's cool. I, I'm enjoying my time here. I'm enjoying living in these areas, um, just wherever I am now. And there's so many, so many great stuff out here too. So, um, and plenty more to explore. Also great with, great place for kids. Um, places for families with kids. Okay. Feels like kind of bowed a little bit. Still pretty good. Just checking in, you gotta make sure everything's still it's flat. But I think it'll hang, yeah, it feels pretty good. I think it might lift up a little bit. All right, how about, how about this side? You know, I'm doing a rough pass right now. This is just uh, filling in the spots with solder. You don't have to, don't have to get it perfect. Don't have to coat everything so much right now. 
Just drop it in there. I mean, I gotta hold it with my two hands, otherwise I could just run through this right now, but maybe I can get my stand. Yeah, let's try. Got a little stand right here. Am I even centered a little bit? Okay, all right, let's, let's move over here. Okay, so let's see. This opening taking up a lot of solder. You have this wedge where the angles, the glass pieces meet, so they kind of... There's a little, there's some space right here. So we gotta fill that in with solder, so that's... It's taking up a lot of solder right there. Those flaps, the copper foil that flaps over, you kind of just, you can just pull solder from the top and there's usually enough to just kind of cover that, that spot. Here, this one will fill in, fill in right now, see how it looks. I'm gonna come back to this. I don't wanna heat it up too much. Scared it's gonna break. Something's gonna happen right there, so go ahead and we'll just we'll just let that sit. It's probably hot enough right now. Too hot right now. Okay. Alright, see if that Okay. Alright, we got this other side. So this thing's very helpful. Now we can work with it. Um, so here's a question. Have you guys been to San Francisco? Um, anybody? know exactly what I was talking about, these spots. Um, if you've been to San Francisco, I am sure that you've been to uh, Fisherman's Wharf. I, I enjoy that too, it's very fun. Um, and like I, I wanna go back to eat the clam chowder and all that stuff out there too. Um, but, but sometimes, like honestly, when I was there, when I was living there, I never went there. I, I mean, I went there a couple of times, but like, not not a lot, a lot, right? Because I just, I just kind of avoided the touristy spots, um, which means I never got to eat as much as stuff out there, and it's so good. Um, at least like the clam chowder and stuff. So, you know, it's funny how you live in a place and you never go visit the touristy stuff, the spots that is in your town, your hometown, or your backyard or whatever and we always like try to get out somewhere else so um, I don't know it's just it's just weird how things how we do things um, but yeah have you guys let me know if you've been uh, if you visited San Francisco and I'd love to hear some of the stories that you guys had with you know coming out here visiting the city and stuff and if you've been to the East Bay, bonus points. 
because uh, I think that's even more rare. Uh, I remember, like, it's so crazy the, the way the internet works and how we are connected now. Um, you know, like uh, the videos, the, this video that I have that I'm walking around the cemetery, <clears throat> right, which is right here. And um, I have people that say, hey, is this uh, the sunset? I think that's what it's called, the, the cemetery. And, um, you know, they're, they're like, yeah, my, like somebody commented and said, like, I think my grandpa is, I thought, I, I, I thought I saw my grandpa's grave there. That's crazy. Like, it's just, you know, like, oh crap, that's, that's, I know that place. And it's just like a random, random video about stained glass that now you saw your grandpa's grave. Like, I don't know what else to say after that. That's pretty crazy. But, um, yeah, sometimes I, I, I like watching, uh, you know, like I see a video about San Francisco or something too. I like to watch it just because I know, I, I'm like, I, have, I know that spot. Like I, I was just there. So it's kind of funny. Um, you, get, you get people that have just been there. Exactly. So. Yeah, so I'm curious if you guys have been here. And um, I wish I I would know of a lot more places and have seen a lot more things, um, you know, so I would understand and get like references and stuff and whatever, but you know, this is where I am and this is where I've been for a long time. So, yeah, it's pretty special to me right now. All right, I think that spot, so that looks really good right there. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to fill in the insides. It's just that there, there it's showing. You know, like you'll see this copper foil color. And so you see that and I'd rather just rather it not show. So we're gonna have to cover that up. But first let's go ahead and do the, oh, it's hot. It is, it's freaking hot. This thing's heavy now too. Um, I think I can do it this way. No. Nah. Okay, well, I gotta hold it. That's okay. Or maybe balance it. Like that. Try not to let this thing tip right here. But it's perfectly flush and level. Might as well, might as well go for it. Oh, the other thing that I saw, maybe I should try. We'll try it on the other side. Maybe you guys can get get some different skills or we could learn something together here. Or we might have to fix that, I'm not sure. Can't say this is perfect just yet. Okay. Let that cool. Okay. 
All right, we're gonna we're gonna do this. Alright, what they did was, I saw somebody do this, so you get the flux on here, right? And instead of starting like this and trailing with the solder, we're gonna go, we're gonna go something like this. Like, drop. Oops. So they just did lots of Lots of drops spaced out. So we're just going to try something here. Something different. And hopefully this will work where, you know, they connect to each other easier. And the solder is already there for you. So I thought it was ingenious. I don't remember who it was, I would give credit to him. But it was somebody from Instagram. Yeah, try that. That is another trick I never tried before. Just, you know, saw it and, and, and thought it was pretty cool. But, you know, you can smooth it out again, but right there, Maybe it might, you know, it might have been faster or this way would have worked. I think they're both okay if you go this way. And I mean, if you go one way, um, if you liked it this way better, whatever works for you. But, you know, another example of different ways that you can work with this stuff and, and kind of find your own way that you like. Okay, so feel like the edges are looking pretty good. Gonna... I also believe I'm gonna have to wrap this up pretty soon. The it's it's been it's been uh, over an hour, at least I think for the recording. Um, so I'll probably try to wrap this up very soon what i'll do is because i you don't want to leave your pieces soldered but not cleaned that will ruin uh you need to clean off the flux because it could seep in and get under into the copper foil and then you'll you'll have these like white um what is it like a like a white moldy looking things that kind of creep up come out of your solder and it won't look shiny at all um, so you, you need to make sure that once we finish you know we finish soldering we're gonna clean this off neutralize it with the flux cleaner soap dish soap um, Dawn and warm water and um, you know just clean it off clean it off real well so I don't think we're gonna, f I'm gonna finish in time for the, like this video will be too long. So I'll probably divide it um, into, I don't know, like the finishing process. Maybe I'll just, actually, you know what I'll do? I'll, you kinda, you kinda already see it being done right now. Um, I don't think there's anything else to show besides Maybe the, maybe the next one could just be like the final touches and then clean up something like that. Or I could finish up the, I could just do the next video with the soldering as well. Maybe I could just do that. At least, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna go on for too long. So, um, yeah, I'll just, fuck it. I'll just cut it right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> trying to think and, and do the work. So I'll just cut it right now and we'll pick up in the next video. So I'll see you guys in the next one. And that'll be uh, to clean up everything, do the smoothing of the soldering and then uh, the washing 
and you'll you'll see how how I do that. Um, but you know, there's right now there's plenty more work, so I think that's gonna carry on to the next video. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'll um, continue working on this, and then we'll. I mean, I'm gonna continue working on this recording for the next video, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, thanks so much. All right.